I'm going to do my August haul and I literally have loads of stuff, it is actually ridiculous. It's just all sat in front of me. I would be slightly nearer the camera if I had space. So I'll crack on. <sighs> you need tea to do this, there is so much stuff, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to start with makeup because that's what I always do. If I can just make a space, that would be awesome. Okay, and see if I can get slightly further forward oh, <laughs> to show you things. Okay, so I'm gonna move this box down. Right, um, I've got quite a few makeup bits. Well, quite a few for me for the month anyway. And um, a few of them I've used in like some videos recently, so you may have sort of picked up on those perhaps, who knows. Um, and I'm going to start with MUA. Now, I've heard quite a lot on YouTube about how great they are and, you know, really cheap as well, so I thought, oh, I'll try it. So I got um, two of these MUA Trio um, eyeshadows, which look like this. Um, this one is pink sorbet and this one is called innocence so this is like the pinky one and the brown one and I have to say I use the pink one the most I just think it looks really nice more sort of natural for the day as well and just really cute and the colours are great and the lightest one I tend to use as like highlight as well so they're really really good and then I thought I'd try lipstick because it was only like a pound. I think the palettes were like 250 or something. And I got this um, MUA lipstick uh, shade 14. It's called Bear. Just looks like that on the packaging. Like that. I have used it already. And swatched. It just looks like that. I don't know if that's going to come up very well. But um, yeah, it's just like a really nice sort of nudie colour, hence the name Bear. So there we are. Um, and then I went to Boots and I really wanted, like, I don't know if you guys watch her. I assume you do. I think most people do. Um, it's Lisa Eldridge. I absolutely love her, like, makeup tutorials and stuff. And um, she seems to be more about, you know, trying to look natural and all lovely and stuff so I've been trying to do that hence the less made up face I don't know if you've noticed anyway I'm waffling and she uses like a lot of like skin illuminators and things like that sort of around this area and I just thought I looked really nice so I went into Boots and bought the number 7 skin illuminator in the pink shade because it comes in either pink or like a pearly sort of more nudie colour and it just looks like this and it has like a brush and you sort of twist it to make it work and stuff and it's just it's really really nice um i can't remember how much it was off the top of my head it wasn't cheap but like i don't think i'm going to use like masses of it so it will last so it's like an investment so that's that and then um she also uses like instead of using like concealer sticks she tends to use like the corrector the stuff that you like dab on all the illuminating pens under your eyes um she recommends like number seven but i thought i would try the collection 2000 ones and so i got this one it's collection 2000 illuminating touch light diffusing concealer in shade naked and just looks like that and twist the end to use it and that's really good like I just think it looks less cakey under my eyes and then I've got the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer it's supposed to last 16 hours according to this and just looks like that and that is really 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 good really really good <laughs> um, that seems to last a lot better than a concealer stick on my skin as well and that's in shade fair so yeah those are really good and again really cheap I think they're about one ninety nine each or something um, next to show you I have a natural collection lipstick and this is just a repurchase because I absolutely love this shade I wear this pretty much all the time and it's um, autumn sunset and just looks like that 
and then swatched it looks like that and again it's not coming up very well on the camera but hey ho it's just like a nudie sort of pink colour and I just really really like that so yeah and then going back oh no natural collection again um, I need to buy some waterproof mascara just because unfortunately I've got to go to like a funeral um, next week which is not great and I don't own waterproof mascara and I know I'm going to cry so I thought well I better invest in one and a friend of mine recommended this one it's just like a cheap one because I'm not really going to use it that much the one I normally use is what I like love using so this is just purely for moments of tearfulness and uh, this is the natural collection waterproof mascara it's just in black and it just looks like that's the one so we'll give it a whirl for 1.99 you can't really go wrong uh, it stays on my face and it's done the job really um uh, i've missed off a natural collection thing that's my little collection -y stuff i got the um shimmer shades like Blusher palette, apparently it's called Blusherlicious. Four complimentary shimmering shades for a subtle radiant glow. Fabulous. And it just looks like this. And I have used it and I tend to use like the peachy one more at the bottom. Um, and you don't really need like a lot of it either, it goes quite a long way, so that's that. And then I had to splurge, well not splurge, but indulge myself in something which quite a few people on YouTube have been raving about and I was umming and I'm thinking do I really need it I don't know and then I thought well it's not that expensive so sod it. I bought the um, Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 hour um, blah, blah, blah. eyeshadow that's the word and it's called On and On Bronze and just looks like that in the pot I have obviously used it um, and then swatched it's just like that and you can sort of build on it as well and it really does say what it says and it does stay on like a tattoo because I swatched it in the shop and kind of got it everywhere and got it stuck and this is probably going to stick now but it's just fine so yeah I really really like that it's a lovely colour and it really brings out blue eyes as well I've noticed so I would recommend that one highly now on to what should we go on to let me just get this stuff out of the way because it's everywhere right oh i'll feature on from the sort of makeup piece of to hair i bought one hair product this month and it's the remington pearl wand just looks like this on the box and then I have used it already it comes in this little pouch and then it just looks like this um, you can change like the heat and stuff on it but I haven't bothered it comes on at, I think 180 and it just sort of does the job for my hair really so yeah and it comes with this rather sexy little glove so yeah, so you don't burn yourself. And I'm quite accident prone, so this is very handy. But yeah, that was from Boots and it was I think five pounds off, so I got it for twenty pounds. She didn't think it was too bad. Just to sort of my hair's a big frizzy mess and sometimes I like it to look sort of curly and nicely done. Um I've got a wedding to go to so I thought this would be a good investment. So that that. Oh god I love tea. Sorry, it's going cold, so I need to drink it. Can't waste it. <laughs> I have two pairs of shoes, which I will share now, because I like shoes. And the first pair were really cheap, purely because I had a £10 um, gift receipt voucher thingy. And I get student discount as well. I think it's like 10 or 15% in New York. Um, so I got these boots. Ooh, I'll show you one. And um, they just look like this. And I'll zip at the back. 
and this is all sort of like hard rubber material and they're so so comfy to walk in and really easy to walk in because they're a wedge and I just thought they'd look really cool with like jeans or leggings, tights with like a flippy dress or something they're just really lovely and it's getting to that time of year and you know I'm going to have to start wearing my boots and warm things so I'm very slowly starting to build up like my autumn winter um, wardrobe so I bought these and I got them for £12 because of my discount I think they're about £24 or £24.99 and I don't think that's too bad really and yeah just like super duper comfy and everybody needs a good pair of boots in their life so there we are and then the next thing, or next pair I bought, um, quite a few people have been raving about them and I don't know, they're not something I would typically buy but I just think they're wicked um, I haven't exactly decided what I'm going to wear them with as such, I've worn them once so far. Anyway I should stop waffling and just show you them, it's these bad boys, the creepers that everyone's sort of going on about the minute, I'll show you one again just look like this, they've got platform and they're pretty comfy actually and just pretty wicked um, yeah I got these from eBay and I think they were 16 99 which I thought was good because in a few shops I've sort of seen them in they're like 25-30 quid so I sort of saved myself some money there but um yeah, I will do some outfit of the days with these in, just to show you what I would wear them with. But I just think they're really awesome and like alternative funky shoes. I'm going to go on to clothes. I think this is all I've bought. I can't remember, I've bought so much stuff this month. I think it's purely because my boyfriend is away <laughs> and I miss him. So I buy myself things to cheer myself up. Um, but anyway, I went on the New Look website and saw this top and thought it was awesome although be warned the sizes are a bit bizarre so be careful it's one of these um, peplum I think that's how you say it my sister says peplum but I want to say peplum it just sounds right in my head so I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong but yeah it's one of these tops it's like a galaxy style print so it like comes down and then it sort of flares out uh, just above your hips kind of thing, it's just really really flattering um, and that was $16.99 it's one of their online like retailer thing images and I just think it looks quite funky and then to go with this top and also I'm gonna wear these boots with it as well um, I just got a pair of skinny black jeans you know you know the ones and these were like 14 99 which I thought were pretty cool and they're really really comfy so we like so that's my clothing sort of stuff um, and now we have a couple of bikinis and I don't normally show like bikini sort of stuff but these are so cool I couldn't not show you They've just come back in stock, they're from Topshop and they're just awesome. So I heard they're back in stock via Facebook and was like, oh, I have to have these, I have to have them. And couldn't decide between the two, so I bought both. Look, how awesome is this? It's like, huh, this is not a really good interpretation. Um, it's like this and it's got buttons like this. How awesome. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> Hang on. But yeah, it's like that kind of design. How cool is that? And then I um, couldn't resist getting the other colour. This one being a snow leopard. Ooh. Hang on, let me just get my bits together. Look! How oh, cool! There's the bottoms and then that's the top. How cool is that? Just like woo! I have an animal on my body. <laughs> so those are from um, 
top shop and they are quite expensive like I wouldn't normally spend this on a bikini set but I don't know I just really like them and I don't tend to really really like bikinis I'm a bit funny about bikinis for some strange reason that and bras so um yeah I think if I remember rightly they're 32 pounds a set and you're probably thinking oh but um I really like them so that's my justification um, what shall I show you next? Okay, I'll show you a couple of little jewellery bits. I'm um, sorry I haven't really got around to making the beads I've bought, but I'll show you the beads and you'll probably see them like put together in like a whole or not a whole, uh, in like an outfit of the day or something very thin. So the first thing I have to show you is this bangle. It's got scrolls on it. I don't know if you're able to see because my camera doesn't like zooming but um yeah it's got like little skulls on it and i'll put it on now yeah just looks like that on your wrist and just thought it looked pretty funky and then um oh yeah and that's from ebay and then also from ebay and uh, i've seen these in like top shop and stuff and i knew i could get these on ebay for cheaper i think they're like seven or eight pounds in Topshop but on eBay this is like two pounds and it's this um, evil eye ring which I just think is really cool bit bit odd, bit creepy but cool and um, just looks like that so yeah I think yeah two pound fifty so it's a bargain and just pretty funky and then um, I have these beads which I plan to make a bracelet and probably like some earrings with spikes on the bottom of them like eventually it's a pack of these like skulls I'll get one out to show you they're that I don't know if this is how you say it but um that how light is that right like beads or something and yeah it's like a little skull doo -doo -doo. and like a cracked effect and these are in ivory I've got some more on order so they'll probably be in my next haul but yeah I'm going to make them into like a bracelet and then I thought of making them into like dangly earrings with like a spike hanging from it or something again very very similar to the ones in Topshop so and I like making stuff so I just thought these would look very cool and then I've got some more which I don't know if I can get these out of the packet without them going everywhere so I'm not going to I'm sorry um, but these are very similar again to a ASOS marketplace shop which I know of um, in my last haul I had a crucifix and a skull um, bead bracelet which I've made very similar to that website and um, yeah I found some more beads very similar to another bracelet that they have on the website and I've not got another packet, so I don't think it's going to come out great. Oh. You know what? I'll get them out of the packet. Um, if I can. Just don't want them to just go everywhere. There. Right. Right then, Fred. <laughs> they're these. Um, they're probably not going to come out brilliant, but they're like little eagles and I'm gonna make them into bracelets just you know lots of little eagles going on and yeah um, I think I paid something really silly like 99p for 40 of these on eBay they were from Hong Kong I think it was Hong Kong I can't remember somewhere like that and it did take quite a while to get here as did these ones but it's worth the wait when you're paying like silly money for them and it's just a bit of fun to make something so those are those now the time is three o'clock in the afternoon on friday and i literally came back an hour ago from um Champneys. like went for a couple of days for a lovely spa break and uh yeah just felt like filming so that's why i'm doing it now and uh i kind of bought stuff and i really hope my boyfriend isn't watching this because i've purchased stuff for him which I'll show you anyway, just for a bit of a laugh. Um, actually, no. 
Okay, I've decided I'm going to show you one thing I bought the fella, just in case he decides to watch this video before they come in the post, so at least one of them will be a surprise. Um, but yeah, I went to Shantley's and he's got stuff. So this is just for my boyfriend, because um, they do like a men's range in Shantley's, and it's the sports therapy stuff, and it's this cooling muscle rub, which looks like this. And it smells nice, but in like a nice manly scent, which you know we need for a man. And yeah, it's just because he's doing a lot of exercise, a lot of training at the moment, so I thought he would like some cooling muscle rub. So that's that. And then for myself, I've got two little things, but they're lovely. And it's um, the nail varnishes that Shampoo's do. I've got this one which is shade raspberry and it's just really really lovely shade like pinky almost kind of like purpley hues in it and it's just really really nice and then i got this one called twilight and it's not coming up very well but it's like this really pearlescent -y sort of purple almost navy blue color and it's just absolutely gorgeous and i almost didn't get it and i'm so glad i did because i've never really seen one like this before so those are those. And now I'm on to my final two things, which I literally bought two hours ago. And this is it for the month. I cannot afford to buy anything else. So this is why I know I can do my haul now. I'm so broke, but it's fine. Um, I went to the Calf Kids and Outlet store, which is on the way home from Chablis. And I was just like, oh, mum, should we go in? And she's like, yeah. So um, I went in and I bought things and I will show you. Okay, so I got this bag. It's like a satchel. And then it's got like quite a sturdy sort of um, strap, which is really nice. And then the actual design on the bag is like this flowery design. And I don't know if it's gonna show up, but like, it's like a velvety, material and it's just lovely and it's got like two pockets either side and then a couple of pockets inside and I just thought it's quite a big bag really and it's just going to be awesome for like uni and stuff like that come September and sort of the red is like a nice sort of Christmassy colour so not that I'm just going to use it at Christmas but you know just thought it looked nice around that time of year and then I got this little tiny umbrella and it is so light it's ridiculous um yeah and it's just really really cute it's like a micro one and these are both in the sale this i can't remember how much it was maybe 25 but um was reduced to 15 and then the bag was 40 or 45 reduced to 30 and i just thought oh it's lovely and I think they'll actually go quite well together so if it rains and I'm going to uni we're on to a winner and also I will quickly show you this I haven't bought this but because I love calf kids I have this bag which I use to carry all my uni stuff in and now I have a matching umbrella Ooh -hoo. and uh, yeah I just think it'll all sort of go together nicely so I will be Kafkistan supplied for the university. Happy days. Okay, so that's my haul over and done with. Um, I hope you liked it. I think personally for me, I had quite a lot of stuff this month. Um, and maybe it's because I just really like it all. I don't know. We'll see. See what you think. Comment below. Feel free. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop waffling because this is what I always do. And... Um, Hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.